Heck yeah. How's it going? I'm uh, Clint Walker, and uh, we're here to talk about my, uh, let's see, what month is this? June 2013, Thrasher cover. Yeah. Uh, shot by Joe Hammocky. Um, we all miss him a lot. Uh, really special dude who, uh, I don't know, was always down for the mission at any point. He's definitely one of the most down photographers, you know, I ever went on a trip with. Uh, you could call him up at any time, and if you had something, he was like, oh yeah, I'm down. And the whole time there, he would be talking about grabs, you know, and like what grabs did at the spot or whatever. Uh, so yeah, no, I def I'm gonna definitely miss uh, all of the Gravette stories and just having somebody that was always down to hit a spot at really at any time and, yeah. and was down to, you know, be in uncomfortable positions and sleep in the shitty spot just and to do it all. Make it just work. Like, straight up, man, yeah. he really was like, uh, a skate rat and a down for skateboarding 100% more than, you know, more than most other photographers. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, a dear friend of all of ours and, and we miss him a lot. We love you, Joe. Where was this spot? Uh, this is in Albuquerque. Uh -huh. uh, we went there. I, had, I was supposed to have an interview in the mag and I believe I think Joe had told me that there was they didn't have like a cover photo yet for it or whatever, and that I know that a lot of times you know if people have an interview, a lot of times they have the cover if right. they have something that's good enough. But uh, I had wanted to do this trick here at a bullhead is what this rail's called right. for a long time. It's uh, curved, right? Yeah, curved yeah. rail there in Albuquerque, and uh, it used to be a fat rail, big fat rail that slashed. I think nose slid mm -hmm. a long time ago. Uh, but yeah, it's just a I kind of an iconic, you know, Albuquerque spot, I guess. Yeah. And something I've wanted to are do there, that on for a long time. Are there so. torpedoes up there? Is it some sort of war material? War I think memorial? it is. Yeah, there there are like some uh, some big like rockets. I don't know yeah. what the memorial is actually for, but uh, it's at like a baseball field. Okay. Um, it's not really a bus, but they've skate stopped it a few times. Uh, but I've never really got kicked out of there. But it's a super cool spot. Uh, just pretty unique, you know, and, and looks cool. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so we went there to try to do a backsmith on it, and uh, we are staying at Palmer's house at the time. He's got a pool there in the back. Yep, uh, yep. He's the man. Uh, and so we went the first day, and I don't remember how long it took me. I think I back 50 would it, and then I started trying backsmith, and I did it. I think it was starting to get dark, and I did one, but like maybe like two feet up the rail, my front like kind of lifted up mm -hmm. and so I kind of like kind of went even with the rail and then pulled out and I don't know <clears throat> I, the, I, I feel like I don't know it, it, it had to be done a little bit better you know and so we got back and I was like I was stoked that I rolled away and I wasn't really tripping on it at the time but then I watched the footage and I was like man I kind of pulled up there on the end like I don't know like I just knew people were gonna be talking shit, you know, it's one of those things, it's yeah. like, hey, I know, like, they were gonna be talking shit if you don't go back and redo it, so, uh, yeah, I was like, man, should we go back and redo it, and Hammocky, you know, being Hammocky, was like, you got it, man, like, I'll be there, we'll shoot it, and, like, so, yeah, the next day, I was like, all right, we'll just go back and do it, you know, I'll handle it, and then we'll, we'll dip out, and the next day, we went back, and I went to back 50, and I think maybe with somebody, maybe Dirty was with us. I don't remember who was with us, but I think I was like, yo, 50 this, I'm going to like back you up. And I sacked it, like first go, like uh. slammed way harder than I did on the backsmith the whole day before. And I was like, damn it. So then I was like pissed because we came and I thought it was going to be like a fun session, you know, and I was just going to backsmith it. And then I sacked it. Uh, but yeah, anyways, got over that and then ended up working out and did one good. Um, I don't remember if I took any more slams that day or not. I just remember being frustrated after I sacked it, but ended up rolling away from one and uh, was super stoked and was glad to get that secondary redemption. Yeah. Um, what what yeah, video I mean, was the footage in? Uh, the, it, I'm pretty sure it was in the Ambig video. Okay. Uh, yeah, it was actually, oh, you know what? I'm pretty sure, damn, is this the man? Did that come with the Ambig? Do you, do I'm you not know? sure. I, I almost, because, so the Ambig video, crazy about it, uh, was the first uh, video that came free Probably in the mag. Yeah. When they, remember they, how they did yeah, that oh, for yeah. a few years yeah. until they ran it? I think they ran into like licensing issues and stuff, but the, when they did that for a few years, how they'd have the DVDs yeah, in the mags. Yeah. 
Ambig was the first one that did that. Huh. And so every skate shop pretty much in the US or wherever yes, was had that video. And so it's crazy, man. Like right after that came out, we would go on Ambig trips and like every shop you would go to, like people would be like, Oh man, we've been watching the video. Like it's and it was a short video, you know, but it was like everybody's parts were like pretty good. Like I liked the video. Yeah. And so I don't know, it ended up being a pretty good video for a brand that not really a lot of people knew about. Right. And then I don't know, they fucked it all up and fired our dude, and then, you know, it all, it went to shit, but, uh, yeah, it was in the Ambig video. Um, and do you remember how, uh, how you learned that this was the cover? Uh, I mean, I guess, man. the first time you saw it? I don't remember how, um, I don't even remember how, but yeah, I'm not sure, uh, I remember being super stoked though. I remember uh, I I saw it. I was in Altus. I mean, I remember being in Altus when the first time I saw it. Okay. I don't know because uh, I remember just tripping out, being at my parents' house, and like looking at me like, "Damn, like that's crazy." My mom, my parents have like a my mom's got a shrine of mine pretty much in like the corner of the house where like she keeps all the stuff that you know they're hyped on and, or whatever. And so yeah, this is definitely there. But I remember like getting and just looking at it and be like, "Dude, that's so crazy." Because I've just you know I had so many like. I don't know, I had covers, you know, hung up on my wall and whatnot and so many yeah. mags just sitting around that it's definitely, you know, something that is like a goal of yours, I guess you'd say. And, yeah. you know, just like a, I don't know, a big, a big life hammer, you know, the cover yeah. of Thrasher. So, yeah, it's, it's pretty crazy. It's Speaking crazy, about man. covers you remember from being a kid, what classic covers stood out to you and that you kind of hold on to and remember to this day? Anybody huh. jump out at you? Let's see. The ones that stuck out, man, I don't know even why, because it's definitely not what I'm talking about right now, but the ones out that stands out to me is the Antoine cover with, yeah, uh, with yeah. all the tattoos. Like, yeah. I remember, like, just being a kid at the time, like, not really, a lot of people didn't look like that, yeah. I felt like, and especially, I don't know, people that, I don't know, everybody knew and stuff, you know, because Antoine just came out and he was the dude, you know, and yeah. it was like that part that he came out with and that song and the whole thing in Baker 3, like, man, like that was, I watched Baker 3 so much when I was a kid. I watched that video like every night, so that was my shit. And so, I, I don't know, yeah, but just one that stands out, like the one that as soon as you say that, that's the one that I think of for that's some a, reason. That's, Antoine, just that, like, yeah, that, just him classic. blasted up on there. And uh, I don't know, like I said, a little bit different than this. Yeah, and not not yeah. maybe something I, I'm striving for, but hey, it's... Uh, it's memorable. Awesome. <laughs> well, Clint, I think that about covers it. Thanks for uh, sitting down with us. Oh, and, yeah, uh, man. Thank you for stopping by. And, and again, man, Joe, we love yeah, you. Yeah, Joe. Jessica, we love you. Uh, yeah, I don't know. The, the entire skate community misses him a lot. Yeah, absolutely. And, uh, I don't know. We can't wait to r rip it again with you someday, Joe, because yeah. uh, uh, he made a lot of skateboarding happen. He's, like I said, more down than... More down than most. Yeah, so I hear you. Miss I agree. you, Joe.